felt very lucky to learn that I won the vote. I, especially after being in Runnymede, I feel very lucky to meet all the amazing people and to learn and be in this little town and to paint a mural for the people of Runnymede. The inspiration for my art came from learning the history of Belarus and uh, learning the traditions. It's very rich uh, folklore art. And uh, when, after I went to Art Academy, we studied church art, the murals of uh, Russian famous muralists. Mostly it was church art. And just learning all the history of Mm, not history, but artists throughout the history of Europe and Belarus. So for me, I tried to get inspiration from it, but I guess my biggest inspiration was from nature. Belarus, Belarus is very beautiful and uh, has a lot of lakes, forests, and I always love to find little butterflies and leaves and to kind of that was my biggest inspiration. Working on a design for a mural, I tried to do a big research into the location, into the community, into the surroundings, nature of the place for where the mural will be located. So after doing research, after learning as much as I can, I try to combine everything I learn with my artistic taste and skills to make a um, piece of art that will be, that people of that town will like and that I think is the best use of my talent. I'm sure I know that people, that murals have huge effect on people and on communities. They, I think, add safety, create, bring sense of community, make people love their surroundings, make people care about their cities and towns, and they, I think, feel that somebody cares about them because it's obviously murals are painted for people to see, so I think it creates overall very positive impact on communities and people. For me, the main motivation to paint murals compared to gallery, studio art, I was trained, I went to school to be a, just painter, so I was doing paintings on canvas, and uh, after doing it, I understood that it's not what I want to do. I wanted to bring art out of studios and to paint it on buildings for everybody to see, for people just walking on the street to see it without needing to go to the gallery. Maybe not everybody has time to go to art museums or abilities, so my biggest passion was to bring it out of the galleries and museums for people on the street to see every day and enjoy art. I think to paint successful mural that will be appealing for people seeing it is to always keep in mind that it look, should look good from far away and also to look good when you come close to it. That's why uh, I paint my murals, even the biggest ones, always using the smallest brushes. I don't use spray, and pa spray, spray paint, paint and really even rollers. So. I think that it is very important to keep a big picture in mind by, while painting smaller details so it looks good from far away and from close by. Murals are pretty much a workout <laughs> on top of just painting skills and uh, to paint large areas of 
the wall, on a wall, it takes for sure physical strength and I'm very tired by the end of the day, just like after a big workout. I think it's like marathon runners, they have also the same pleasure. <laughs>